Hey, Steve here with Meatless Makeovers. And today we're gonna to be making vegan blackened banana blossom fish. Now, if you've never used banana blossom before, they're tender and layered and really flaky and they lend themselves perfectly for making imitation fish. I've got one right here just to show you some of the layers. And <clears throat> once we fry these up, coat them and fry them, they're gonna be perfect. So what I have here is one can of banana blossoms, drained and rinsed. They come like this, you can find them on Amazon. Sometimes you can even find them in specialty stores, but you're gonna love it once you find it. So we're gonna have our blackened seasoning. We'll put that in a reusable Ziploc bag to help coat it. And then we'll throw them right into my preheated air fryer, 400 degrees preheated, and they'll brown up blacken up to a perfect coating. So here we go. <clears throat> First of all, I have dulse flakes. These are, this is like seaweed. So if you can't find these, you can also crumble up a sheet of nori that you would use for sushi. You can also use kelp powder, or you can just leave it out altogether if you don't like the, the taste of seaweed. So I'm gonna throw that in. Also some nutritional yeast. Smoked paprika to give it that nice smoky flavor for us. Throw that in. Perfect. I've got some onion powder, dried oregano and dried thyme. That's just gonna really amp up those flavors, get it really aromatic for us. And then salt and pepper and totally optional but I like to throw in a little cayenne pepper. So here's our mix. We're gonna give this a little toss, just like that. And now, one at a time, you're gonna add your banana blossom. Be careful, because they do fall apart pretty easily. So we're just gonna add that to the bag, give it a seal. And just gently roll it around so it gets nice and coated. Open that bag back up. Awesome. This looks great. We'll take it out of the bag carefully, hopefully keeping it intact. And there we go. There's our first blackened banana blossom fish. We're going to do that with the rest of them and we'll be good to go. This recipe takes seconds of hands-on time. The air fryer does all the work. <clears throat> so here we go. We're gonna keep doing this. Drop that in there. Give it a little toss. Excellent, doesn't take much. Here we go. Just like that. Your hands do get a little messy, but I find it the best way to use your hands. Make sure they're washed and clean, but you'll be all set. So here we go. Each can comes with about four to five banana blossoms. So use more than one can if you're feeding a whole family. So just like that, here we go. A little toss. I've got about one more after this one. My air fryer is already preheated. I've got one tablespoon of oil in my, in my air fryer, ready to go. And that's all you need. That's the best thing about this recipe. Little oil, they're healthy and excellent. You don't have to worry about deep frying and all that jazz. No, it's easy. So here's my last one. It does come apart a little bit, especially my last one, but don't worry about that because you can kind of mold it in the, once you put it in the air fryer to, uh, to stay together. So here we go. Last one. Perfect. Just like that. Grab it out of there. Excellent. Just like that. Perfect. Nice and flaky and layered and now coated in our smoky and fishy uh, coating. So here we go. Just like that. Perfect. Excellent. And now we're going to head over, put it in our air fryer, let it cook 
20 to 25 minutes. Check it periodically. And, uh, but you'll know when it's done, it's going to be nice and crisp and blackened. And the whole house will smell amazing. So one by one, we're going to drop these in here. Just like that. Be careful, super careful, because this thing is hot. Just carefully lay these in here. All the layers. Check out some of that texture. It's amazing. Perfect, perfect, just like that. So I got nice, I got four nice fillets out of this. Just like that. A couple of little pieces, stragglers. Excellent. I'm gonna close this up. 20, 25 minutes. And I'll be right back with you, and you'll see the difference. It'll be excellent. We're back, and I can't tell you how good it smells in here. If Alyssa knew I made these with her not around, she'd be so mad at me. But they smell so good. This whole place is just excellent. So here we go. We're going to take them out of our air fryer. Oh, look at all the layers and the texture. Perfect. Check that out. Now, the cooking time varies depending on the size of your banana blossoms and your personal opinion. You might not want them super dark. You might want them lighter, but you really can't overdo these because they're blackened <clears throat> and it's just totally your personal preference. These only took 15 minutes. Start checking after 10 and take them out when you want them. But I cannot wait to try these. You can serve this over polenta, over a salad, in a taco it's any any way you want it but let's try this out if these taste half as good as they smell it's going to be excellent here we go all the layers that you cut through crispy on the outside tender on the inside and all those layers and fibers totally mimics fish so here let's try this out wow that is so good. The smokiness of the paprika hits you right away. And then it's all those other subtle flavors, the thyme, the oregano, and then there's just that subtle seaweed flavor. Oh my gosh, they're so addicting. Let us know if you try these down in the comments, but I recommend these 100%. Thank you for stopping by.